another project that I want to do is because this bag that I got from my sister ripped in the grocery carrying process I was going to cut this up and maybe make this into an apron I was gonna cut this up and make it into an apron because it's kind of like water resistant I'll be perfect for you know spills and whatever but um, it's just it's a pretty sturdy bag for you know grocery store baggish looking thing so I'm not gonna do that because this one's already ripped might as well just cut it up and make it into an apron look it already fits over my head not good but I don't want it to look so flat so I think I'm gonna make the straps maybe skinnier and then kind of make it more angled this way hopefully it's long enough spending way too long on these straps but I cut them in half I opened them up I cut them in half I opened the inner stitching and then now I'm going to connect these two like this and then after that I'm gonna fold them over so it's a little bit more rounded edges like a like a little lace like an actual string a cord and then I use this strap as the neck part so it's gonna just tie in the back. I was gonna make it like it will attach to the apron here and then like loop it into something but then I didn't know what to tie it to. But I feel like I saw that on someone's design and I was inspired by that. So I was gonna kind of do something like that but then I didn't know how to tie it together. So it's just gonna be attached here on the apron and then I'll just tie it on the back. I've cut the bag into and opened it in, t in this open half, I guess, into one long piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of fold it inwards and sew it in like this. For the middle part, I was going to just sew the top part over like this so it kind of hides this seam right here. I mean, I could cut it and then fold it, but I figured, I don't know, I'll just keep that flap in there. Maybe I'll cut it. We'll see. So now what I'm going to do, um, I was just going to make it easy and sew it here, but I feel like this width is a little too narrow for where it's going to go. So I'm going to, I measure this, it's 17 inches wide. So I'm going to actually fold this so that it's I have like much wider space up at the top because I don't want it to be so narrow. I want it to cover as much of my chest as it can. But I'm going to mark maybe three inches in. Yeah, three inches on this edge here. I'm going to fold. I'm going to fold in three inches from the seam on each side. So from the seam, I'm gonna fold, I'm gonna measure and mark three inches. And from there is gonna be, or there is gonna be the crease of the fold. This pen worked. And I'm gonna just fold it so that the fold will land on the black and then it will just kind of angle it to this corner edge like not so much where it's like this or not too less but folding it this way so that it hits that corner so this thing stays wide here we go
Okay, so this is how it looks from the front. Looks cute, I feel. Just hemming it for the edges just gives it a smooth look. So I'm gonna do that at the top, but I don't really wanna get these bottom parts together because it's not that important. I don't wanna get this done before it gets dark. All right, so I folded this edge over and then I'm going to sew these two together and that'll be the one whole piece. And I know that um, this is usually on the inside part of the bag, like this was the outside and then it used to flap over, like that used to be flapping over here. But I like how clean the seaming or s the seamstress, whatever, the stitching is on this part. And it kind of gives it weight for the edges. So I'm going to just do it inside out and then sew it up at the top here. This will be the last for today's talking portion just because it's getting darker and I still have to put the straps on and I have to hem the top. So stay tuned for tomorrow morning. Hopefully I will show you what everything looks like. And hopefully I can wear this to cook dinner tonight. So this is the final product. I have it tied here and here. And it's just a tote bag that became a cute apron. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it because it's like Hawaii and it's just it's cute, it covers, and it's free. So, try this if you want. If you have a tote bag that ripped, or you can just buy your own apron. Do what you want. <laughs>